Hey ladies and gentlemen, so this thing is fantastic, man. Um, so we are here in a Filipino restaurant inside the mall. It's called Fisher's Mall. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to have lunch. But the concept of their restaurant is actually pretty interesting. Uh, it's called Pedro and Paul, or what? Pedro and Col? I think so. C O L C O I. Anyway, Pedro and Col. It's a Filipino um, uh, uh, restaurant, and they have some fancy things going on. Like if you can see up here, they have like fans, like old fans that we use in the Philippines. They also have this very old uh, jeepney here, all right, and they are using that to basically have uh, like tables inside and use that for dining. I'll show you an example. So this is an example of that thing. Right, so this is this is the jeep. Okay, so it, jeepney is like a, a, a Filipino uh, service vehicle. All right, and then they turn it into like tables. Okay. They have like saba, sabay sabaw, like sabaw means soup, uh, appetizers, vegetable dishes, oh my gulai, to see is to believe, like seafood entrees, and all of that. I'm gonna come order. Yes. So I'm not gonna order anything. I'm gonna let my wife do the ordering so that at least we could try some Filipino dishes, which I haven't really tried for such a long time, other than the regular Filipino cooking at home. But then she's gonna she's gonna do the ordering. Where are you? Here, here, no, there. Alright, she's gonna do the ordering. <laughs> Alright, check their lavatory out. It is an actual palayo. I think it's called palayo or um, cooking thing. <laughs> they turn it into this, which is awesome. That's fantastic. Alright, but first you gotta make sure you wash your hands when you go out to eat. Well, eat in general. This is called sinangag. All right. Sigang. So you have some beans going on, string beans, uh, tomato, and a little bit of everything. And I think this is sour. Is it sour? A little bit sour. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. It. So the thing is, it's already hot, and then we're taking and <laughs> we're eating soup, but it's all good. So let's try it out. Mm. Yeah, it is sour, but it's a good type of sour. Yeah, and and the uh, the broth, I think it's beef broth or we're something. Gonna eat, yeah. Right. We're gonna eat adobo. Mm. Adobo. This is what we call um, Filipino adobo, or in English, three spice meat. I think. And then you have bistec, like beef steak. Bistec, beef bistec. Bistec. It's called bistec. So you've got some beef and of course some raw onions. And this is also pork. No, this is pork. So this is pork, and you've got the sauce in there. And of course, we cannot have anything without rice. So we'll try it and see. All right. So the owner of this uh, restaurant actually it's called Pedro and Coy. The owner of this restaurant is a former. Beauty queen of the Philippines, um, Shamsi, 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 Sup Sup, and uh, her husband, who is an architect, I believe, and they started this idea of opening up a restaurant where you stroll, uh, you know, in history, like throughout the Philippine history, like in the 70s and 80s, and they actually have like cassette tapes going on here, posted on the wall. They have vinyls, and of course the jeepney, and. That's a pretty interesting concept of a restaurant, you know. Uh, it's not just your typical go ahead and just eat, sit, a restaurant kind of thing. I mean, check this out. All right, so they have like on the ceiling, on the roof of the uh, the jeepney, they have comic books going on. So that's that's really pretty interesting. And so I love the concept. Um, so far, the food is uh, is is good. Um, we tried the. Sinigang earlier and it's pretty interesting. I like the taste. And then the next one is uh, we're gonna try the bistec and the adobo. And of course, we have some crispy pata going on, and I'll show you that real quick. There you go, check that out. That is what we call crispy pata. 
Bata is uh, thighs, right? So, crispy thigh, pork thigh. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to see. There you go, guys. Check that out. Whew. All right, so we'll, I'm gonna try first a few of the uh, dishes that we have here. Um, okay, first stop, adobo. Okay, this is the adobo. Mmm. It's a little bit chewy, but um, the sauce is pretty amazing. It's not too bad. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, you could actually taste the spices going on. The uh, and uh, I, I think the beef or the pork is, is cooked thoroughly, which is fantastic. I mean, some sometimes when you eat um, adobo. The, the the meat is not thoroughly cooked but this one is so that's that's a good sign that's a good sign okay so the next stop is the bistec I have no idea what this is in English, in English or, sorry guys but it's it's beef this one is beef mm. okay that's a little bit salty for me yeah, it is a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit salty for me. I mean, I don't mind the food, the, the bistec itself. The sauce is pretty awesome too. All the spices in there. But I think it's just a little bit uh, too much salt going on. But I would still eat it, for sure. Okay. Well, let's try the crispy pata. Okay, crispy pata. Okay, that's pretty bland. I think you gotta have some sauce going on in there. So you got some curry curry sauce. I'll show you real quick here. So there's the curry curry sauce, the, the orange, that orange. So you gotta have that, you gotta have that sauce. So let's try it with the sauce. Okay, trying it with the sauce. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. All right, I'm gonna eat now, and we'll see how it works from there. Okay, so I want to see if the actual crispy uh, pata, like the skin, is actually crispy. It is. It's good. I mean, big skin is always good. You can never go wrong with big skin, 100%. Like I said, you can never go wrong with big skin. Mmm. Okay. Beef stick with rice or beef steak with rice. So I mentioned earlier that the bistec is a little bit salty, but when you mix it with rice, it's actually pretty good. I think the sweetness of the rice um, just sort of lowers the intensity of the salt. So that's good. I like it. Okay. So now, a double with rice. Okay, double with rice. Mmm. Now that's good. That's really good. We call it Zoe de Lechon. Zoe de Lechon. So we have another one coming in. It's called Lechon Kawality. Kawality. Lechon Kawali or. Joey de Lechon. I'll show it here. So there you go. 
So that's lechon kawale. And if you've got some few sauce going on, some salsa, and of course the chara right there. That's the chara right there in the center. All right, let's try this. So we'll try the uh, lechon kawali. Okay, that's lechon kawali. Okay, I mean just check out the uh, the separation of the fat and the actual meat right there. All right, and of course the skin. It's a lot better than uh, the what do you call this again? Pata. Crispy pata. Okay, yes. A lot better than crispy pata, but I I would still assume that you would still have to um, you get some sauce so that at least you know you can really get the flavor going on. So this is like some sort of a peanut sauce. Like, I just messed up. I don't mess it either. <laughs> and if you're ever in the Philippines, you should always try what we call the achara or pickled papaya. This thing is fantastic, man. It's fantastic like I'm saying it's just gorgeous so every time you eat something you add this pickled papaya in there and it just makes the whole food the whole experience amazing it's just another level really mm. oh, yeah. and if you're wondering where's the vegetables we do actually have vegetables so this is eggplant, eggplant. with egg and uh, we call it torta Tortang eggplant. I don't know what tortang is in English, but they got some egg going on, some um, salsa and stuff like that, and of course the eggplant right there. All right, so I'm gonna try the uh, eggplant. Hmm. Very creamy, very delicious. It's just cooked properly. I like it. I like it. And that's coming from me. I don't usually eat vegetables, but this is pretty good. I like this one. So Pedro and Koi. Yep, I would recommend Pedro and Koi. You know, for the experience of actually just thinking of strolling down memory lane, you know, old Filipino history. And uh, the food, of course. So if you're ever in Fisher's Mall, Try it out, Pedro and Koi. Yep, Team Susan approved.